Hello, my name is Nigel Griffiths. I work at IBM in the UK. This is a series of videos on the IBM Cloud Power VS service where you can get hold of AX for £2 or $3 or €3 Euros per day. This is part six of the series, How Do I Upgrade AIX? Now, I am assuming that when you created your AIX on Power VS, that you actually got the right release of AIX. 7.2 is the current one. At the end of 2021, we'll also have 7.3. So we're talking about updating the technology level and the service pack. With the cost of Power VS, you've already paid for your AIX license built in. So how do you get hold of the updates, download them, and then install them? And the answer is all in the IBM Cloud Power VS documentation. This is the title of the page, and here's the URL. I'll put this in the YouTube description. It wants you to use an AX feature, or the AX command actually, called SUMA. I haven't used the SUMA command. I tend to do it old school downloading files and things, but SUMA looks like a pretty neat idea that I should have been using for many years. So I thought I'd quickly put this into a video. So I'm using X Windows on my own AX machine and then using SSH in these two windows to get to my PowerVS copy of AIX. And I changed my prompt up in here so it's actually telling me this is AIX 7.2 Technology 5 Service Pack 1. And I'm pretty sure there's a new service pack out. The OS level minus S command gives you the full AIX version number. You can see here this 20 here means 2020. So that's last year. Now it's June. 2021 at the moment and the 38 is the week number so that's sometime in is it august or something last year so this one is about nine months out of date so i think there's a new version out it came out in the first quarter of this year so how are we going to find that and update aix to get to the latest service pack first of all i'm going to do a quick df minus g and look at my file systems we have one in here and this seems to be full of the installation images of AIX, the uh, 7.2 TL5 Service Pack 1. And this is where it's going to put the new code. And you can see there's very little free in here. So I'm going to expand this up to, let's just call it 16 gigabytes or something. And then we know we're not going to run out of space when we download the new version. Change file system, attribute size equals 16 gig. This file system here, actually got N1 running over here. You can see that it went busy on the disks as, as it did that. And it's changed the size. So we've now got 16 gig uh, uh, in total and eight gig free. So that's gonna definitely be okay for downloading a copy of AX. I made the window slightly bigger so you can see everything on the screen here. So here's the date. Notice we're in CDT, that's the time zone of Texas, because that's where I'm running it. And it's coming up to uh, 15 minutes past 11 o'clock in the morning. So at 16 minutes past 11, this format in here is the same as the cron tab. So we got uh, there's a crazy order of the minutes and then the hours and the other ones over here. So we just want to run it at the 16th minute and we'll just set that going. And it's created it. We can do assume sumo minus l command. It will show us that it's there. What we're doing in here is getting the latest type, the late and the latest fixes in here. This will do it at uh, 16 minutes past every 11 o'clock every day. So we may want to put in our cron things here to make this happen once on a one o'clock in the morning on every Sunday or something like that. But uh, once that clicks in, and what's the time and date now? 16, that's nine seconds ago. So we can see down here, there's some Java running and we're right into our disks heavily. This look, probably looks like the uh, download. And so it's kicked off and it's doing its job. Now that could take some time. So I'll break the movie and we'll come back to when that stopped. Okay, so we're roughly 20 minutes later. That all stopped. Uh, Suma, no programs running. During the download, I increased the memory from 2 gigabytes to 4 gigabytes as I noticed that we'd run out of memory. 2 gigabytes just isn't really enough to do any real work. I also increased the CPU from a quarter of a CPU to a whole CPU, and that seemed to improve the speed of the download. Okay, so if we do a do, you can see we take in a fair bit of chunk of our new file system and if we go in here if we go into this directory we'll find a few files and directories we'll go into the install p directory in here there's going to be one directory we go into that and then we look at all the files in time order 
then we can find this whole load of files it is june the 17th so a lot of files were downloaded these are all the updates in fact we did it again and then we'll just count them there's 262 files right so the next thing we want to do is to actually do the install from experience we need plenty of space in some core file systems before we do an upgrade and we've noticed in DF that some of these directories are very small at the moment. Clear. A lot more space in these places in here. Home is tiny, but that shouldn't use it. Admin, but nobody knows what that's for. And everything else looks okay. So now you'll notice we're in this directory where the files are, so that just makes things easier. Otherwise, we'd have to name this directory as the source of the uh, update. So good old smoothie update. Smithy update all. And we're going to tell it the current directory and uh, preview yes um, that should be okay and I always put the accept in for the license agreement because that catches out on some bizarre thing when I did this before I think it was open SSL so we needed the license approved so this is just a preview it's going to go through checking here now about the sizes and does everything fit and it's all up upgrade going to work with prerequisites to the update that's going to work so we do uh, escape three to come out of that we go back up and here and say preview no and do that planning again and this time actually try to do the update finished 5,000 lines of output so I'm going to whiz down to the bottom of that don't think I there we go software changes require the system and any of its disk list or data list clients gosh that's a blast on the past isn't it um to be rebuilt in order to make the change is effective uh, that means we changed the kernel itself so we need to reboot it to activate the new code we'll come out of that let's escape zero if we do an os level minus s now tl5 so there's pack two and that came out in 2021 week 14. so now we'll do a, a shutdown minus f r fast shutdown and reboot i'll pick up that new kernel of course it will log me out of my screens here and i have to re-log in after a minute to let it bounce back up so that's the end of part six upgrading ax surprisingly easy i even learned something about suma maybe i'll be using that more often in the future if you've learned something or enjoyed this video give us a thumbs up thank you for watching part seven i'm not sure yet it could be one of three different topics i decide which one i can finish off first